When I was younger, my first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Fire Red. I love this game so much, and I wanted to revisit it, but this time with a challenge. I want to beat this game with only Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. So I felt that it's kind of cool to maybe try and beat the game with this Pokemon and show people that Bulbasaur is an awesome starter Pokemon. So I only really have three rules for this run, and the first rule is obviously Obviously, I have to use Bulbasaur to win the game, and winning the game means I have to beat the champion. So I can only battle with Bulbasaur. The second rule is I am allowed to have other Pokemon only for TMs like Surf and Cut that will help me get around the region. My final rule is that we cannot use any glitches in the game. Obviously, I want to do this legitimately, so yeah. Anyway, let's just get into it. Obviously, we started the game by choosing Bulbasaur, and we had our first rival battle. Now, our first rival rival battle was not a problem at all, but our rival does choose Charmander because we chose Bulbasaur, which will be a problem in the future when Charmander learns a fire type move. So anyway, next we went to the first town, and this was pretty easy. We just went through all the grass, and I just battled everything that I encountered, and learned Leech Seed when I was battling against a random Pidgey. So anyway, we gave the parcel back to Professor Oak, we got our Pokeballs, which I decided to sell for potions because we we are not catching any other Pokemon in this run except for a couple for TMs. So after this, I decided to go through Viridian Forest. Now, this was actually very easy, and it was a great place for me to train up and eventually learn our first grass type attack, Vine Whip. It was really, really good, and we went through all of the trainers in Viridian Forest very easily, except for the last one. I had lost all of the PP for every attacking move I had, so I had to use Growl 40 times against a random Weedle to get the move Struggle to win against the next and final trainer of this forest. So anyway, after we did that, I was feeling pretty good. So far, we had not been knocked out even once, and we were just about to face Brock's gym. Now, this was going to be super easy because grass type is good against rock type, and it was. We knocked out the opponent almost instantly and got our first badge. Okay, so next we went through Mount Moon, and here is where something really scary happened. We actually almost got knocked out for the first time against a Clefairy that a trainer had. Now, this Clefairy was just so annoying kept putting us to sleep, but we managed to knock it out. And right now, at this point, we were at such a high level. I was just really happy with how we were doing. Mount Moon was not a problem at all. So anyway, we eventually got out of Mount Moon and made it to Cerulean City. I really didn't think that Cerulean City Gym would be much of a problem, but Misty actually proved to be quite the challenge. We won against Staryu pretty easily, but Starmie kept using Swift and kept getting critical hits. So after the fourth or fifth time battling Misty, we actually managed to win, and we got our second gym badge. After this gym, I forgot that you actually have to battle the rival, and this was very problematic. So the first Pokemon our rival has is Pidgeotto. Now, Pidgeotto is a flying type with Gust. Gust is a flying type move that is super effective against Bulbasaur, and when it hit, it did more than half damage. So this was very problematic, and what I had to do was I had to use Sleep Powder, which was a move I learned back in Mount Moon, and I had to hope to get the Pokemon asleep, then I had to use Leech Seed, and then I had to keep hitting it with Razor Leaf, which was another move we got in Mount Moon. After a while, we did manage to knock out Pidgeotto, which wasn't actually too difficult, but then Charmander came, and at this point Charmander did have Ember. So, after struggling against Charmander and getting burnt on two different battles against this guy, we actually managed to beat the Charmander on like our 20th try. It was pretty easy from there, so next we had to fight against his Abra, which was super easy because it kept using Teleport, and finally his Rattata, which I managed to knock out with one Razor Leaf. So next we moved on to Nugget Bridge. I easily beat all of the trainers there, and we were on our way to the next town. 
So after that, we went to Bill's house to get the SSN ticket. And after that, we made our way to the SSN. In the SSN, we had a battle with our rival. Now, I was so afraid of this battle. In this battle, we have to go up against one Pidgeotto, one Charmeleon, one Kadabra, which now knows Confusion, which can be very effective against Bulbasaur's poison typing, and Eradicate, which is just a fairly good Pokemon in general. This went extremely well. For some reason, the Fire-type moves did almost nothing on me. Confusion was actually the biggest problem in this battle, and I managed to put Kadabra to sleep, and um, I managed to just kind of sweep his team on the second attempt. So from here, we went to get the HM cut from the captain of the SSN, made our way to the gym, and we dominated. The electric types in the gym could not do much damage to us, and we just mowed through all of the Pokemon, and it was crazy. So next, we went to the rock tunnel. And just before I went into the rock tunnel, I got paralyzed, and I decided not to heal for some reason. Also, another thing I did was I switched out a bunch of moves. First, Bulbasaur learned growth, and I thought growth would be really useful to up our special attack, so I replaced Bullet Seed with Growth, because we were never really using Bullet Seed that much. Also, I replaced Leech Seed with Cut. The reason I did this was because we have nothing to hit Pokemon other than the Grass-type moves. So Cut actually came in very useful, and I knew it was going to be very useful against the gym in Celadon City. So anyway, we made our way through the rock tunnel. It was a nightmare. I was paralyzed. I had no paralyzed heals, and it was a crazy maze, and I had forgotten my way in the maze completely. So I just kind of walked around the whole cave for about an hour. Finally, when I got out, I just went right to the gym in Celadon City. So we finally battled Erica. And my strategy for this one was just use cut like crazy. Now, I did buy some X attacks so that our attack stat would be much better. So on the first Pokemon, I put it to sleep. I used a bunch of X attacks and then I used cut to cut all of the Pokemon after that. And I managed to win that gym battle pretty easily. So far, every gym battle has been very easy. And I think the only one that's going to be a very big challenge is Blaine's gym. But that's still a while away. So after the gym battle, I went to the hidden team. Team Rocket base and on the way to Giovanni I found one rare candy which I used and so we got up to level 40. So anyway in the battle against Giovanni it was super easy. Half of his Pokemon are only rock types and grass type moves like Razor Leaf just destroy his team. Also I did replace the move Growth with Synthesis while we were in the Team Rocket base, and that's because Growth was only really helping with Razor Leaf, and Razor Leaf is already such a good attack that I didn't feel we needed it, and Synthesis is just so good. So anyway, we easily beat Giovanni. I did have a little bit of trouble on Kangaskhan, but it was no big deal, seeing as though we're about 11 levels higher than it. So anyway, after that, I went to the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Now here we get to battle our rival again, and this time was even easier. This time, first try, I managed to defeat the rival. I have no idea how I keep getting this lucky. So once again, Pidgeotto was super easy to defeat. Next, he put up Execute, which was a new Pokemon of his, and it was kind of annoying for its uh, confusion attack, but it was pretty easy to knock out. After that, he put out his Kadabra. Now, this Kadabra was pretty much the same as the last time, and I just easily knocked it out after putting it asleep a couple times. So then we had the Charmeleon, and the Charmeleon, like the Kadabra, barely changed it all. With a couple hits from Bulbasaur, it just went down super easily. And finally, we had to face the Gyarados, which was obviously very easy because we had Grass-type moves, even though it had the super powerful move Thrash, which did manage to hit us pretty hard a couple times. But like I said, the Grass-type moves were just too powerful, and we were able to progress in the tower. So after defeating our rival, we made our way up to the top of the Pokemon Tower, 
over where we saved Mr. Fuji and got the poke flute. From there, we went to Saffron City and instantly went to the Sylph Co building. Here, before we can do the gym battle, we have to beat Team Rocket. But another opponent you have to fight in this building is your rival. The four most problematic Pokemon out of his team of five are Charizard, which was a Charmeleon last time we battled him, a Pidgeot, which was once a Pidgeotto, an Alakazam, which was a Kadabra last time, and an Execute, which now was at a high enough level that its attacks actually did a lot of damage. The first Pokemon, Pidgeot, was actually pretty easy to fight, and I managed to get past it and execute pretty easily. But then Alakazam came, and when it was not hitting me with confusion for huge damage, it tended to switch out into Charizard, and I just had nothing I could do there. Flamethrower, which was a new move that Charizard had learnt, was super effective. It could instantly knock out my Pokemon that was around level 52. I could not do anything about it. So I sadly had to admit defeat here. I battled every trainer I could up to this point. I trained a whole bunch, but I could just not see myself getting past the flamethrower. And in battles against a fully evolved Pokemon and a basic Pokemon, the fully evolved Pokemon tends to win, especially if it's super effective against the starter Pokemon. So sadly, this run is not possible from what I can tell. I mean, I'm sure there are some amazing players of this game that could probably do it if they put hours and hours and hours into it. I just really don't see myself winning, and this is as far as I think I can go. But I totally think if you guys think you could win and beat me and get farther than I did, I definitely challenge you to do that. That would be so cool if you actually managed to get Bulbasaur in the Hall of Fame. That was my goal, and I really wanted to see that happen. But sadly, it wasn't something that we managed to achieve. I'm just really surprised that our rival was the one to take us down. I always thought maybe our rival would take us down in the final battle of the game, but I never expected that halfway through the game, our rival would be able to do such damage and knock us out so easily. But anyway, I had fun doing this. I hope you guys had fun watching this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That would be really awesome. I really enjoyed doing this challenge. I might do another if you guys like this. I don't know. It's really fun, and um, yeah. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!